Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a curry recipe and this goes excellent with steamed palak egg. So to make this dish, first we need the palak. What I did is I have taken the palak, I blanched it and I made it into a nice fine puree. So here is the puree which I blanched it and I grinded it and I kept it ready. Like how you make for your regular palak paneer the same way you need to take the palak and this keep aside and in a bowl we are going to crack open eggs you can use two three four any number of eggs you can use so I'm using only two eggs today you can just break one egg and add very little of pepper powder into this and also some salt very little not too much egg also has salt in it and I added white pepper powder dear friends I didn't add it black and now beat this here I, I whisk the egg now in a you know bowl or a plate anything you can just take I'm using a ceramic uh, bowl in this we're going to add very little of oil and we're going to slightly grease this and now we're going to pour this egg mixture into the bowl and this we're going to put it in a pressure cooker and we are going to steam this for just 5 to 8 minutes and our steamed egg will be ready. So here the pressure cooker is already ready and put it, cover this and let it steam for 5 to 8 minutes then this will be done. Meanwhile we are going to make the palak curry right now. Take a pan, add very little oil, if you want you can uh, cook this in butter also. So once the oil is slightly hot we are going to add garlic and finely chopped onions. So here the oil is hot, now add the finely chopped garlic, onions, these are also finely chopped and we are going to cook this onions till they are slightly transparent, add very little salt, not too much because we are going to add spinach, so don't add too much salt and also the green chilies, we are going to slightly slit them and add it. If you want you can grind the uh, green chilies along with the spinach. So friends here you can see I added couple of green chilies as per spiciness you can add the green chilies and now we are going to add very little of turmeric and cook this for another one minute and then we are going to add the spinach puree. Now we are going to add the spinach puree, we are going to add some water based on how much thickness you want you can add water. I can add some more and we are going to cook this for another three minutes and then we are going to add the steamed egg. So friends here you can see our even the egg is also done as I said it won't take more than five to eight minutes. If you want you can just put some toothpick inside it and check whether it is done or not or even a fork or knife. See this is nice and neat. Switch off the flame and we are going to remove this and cut it into nice cubes slightly lose the edges we added oil so this will come automatically it's very hot this came so nice and now what we are going to do is I'm going to cut this into half first so friends here is our steamed egg ready what you can do if you want you can cut it in middle and make it into cubes or whichever way you want if you want big cubes then you can cut it directly like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in the middle and then we're going to cut it into halves just like our paneer cubes you can cut them and now this goes into our palak mixture take it add it into our palak these steamed egg also will be nice and soft and let it cook for just one to two minutes and then we can switch off the flame and last you can add very little of cream and serve this with roti so friends after just two minutes now we are going to add some cream switch off the flame mix it once and totally the color will change now this will become nice and rich and I am going to taste this now with a piece of nice wow steamed egg mm. hot tasty just like our paneer itself only thing we added the steamed egg otherwise everything tastes simple the same like our palak paneer dear friends you need to try the simple simple dish with steamed egg I am telling you once in a while you can just try if you don't have paneer you can make this curry and everybody will love it 
I hope you enjoyed this simple session of palak paneer but not with the paneer with egg. See you in another session with some more recipes but don't forget to share it, make it and feed your family fresh food.